In this video, we will discuss about bind property in ASP.NET Core Web API application. Bind property is an attribute and it is used to map the incoming form data to the public properties of the controller. Bind properties is applied on each target property individually. If you are using multiple properties in your controller file, then you can use this bind property attribute individually on all the properties. Now, let's see how it works. Go to Visual Studio. Here, we are using the same application that we have created in our ASP.NET Core video series. Now, let's add one more controller inside this controllers folder. Here, choose API, then API controller empty, then click add. Your controller name will be countries, then click add. Here, we got the new controller. Inside this controller, let's create simple action method. Add country. This is the method name. Here we will return OK method. Let's add uh, one property in this controller. So type a string and then property name name. Now let's add route to this uh, action method. Here we are going to add new country. So we can use HTTP post method. So this is the route for this action method. Let's say I want to send some data from HTTP request. I want to bind the data to this name property. So here we will return the data from OK method. To verify it, we can use this dot name to enable the data binding we have to use bind property attribute over here now save and run this application here copy the url and open the postman paste the url then change the method name post go to visual studio see here uh, this is the base route uh, first we have to append api then controller name so go back to postman here update the url api and then countries in post method we can send the data in body bind property will work only with form data so choose the form data here here key is name and then value will be let's say india then click the send button here you can see here we got 200 OK status code and we got the same data as an output. Now go back to Visual Studio. Here stop the execution. Here let's add few more properties here. So copy this and paste it below that. Change the property name. Capital. And then population. So integer. Now we are using multiple properties in this controller. So we need to use bind property attribute for each property. So copy this. That's it. If you are not using bind property properly, then binding will not work. Now update this line. Let's say name equal this dot name comma capital equal this dot capital comma population this dot population now save and run this application again in postman let's add other properties capital let's say delhi then population let's say 45000 then click this send button See here, um, we got the output, then here we got the 
OK status code. This is how we can bind the data to the public properties of the controller by using bind property attribute. We can use this bind property in model class. Now go back to Visual Studio, stop the execution. Inside this models folder, let's create one more class. Here model name will be country model, then click add. Inside this, we can add all these properties, all the three properties. Now, remove this bind property attribute here. Let's use this model class as a property in our controller. So go back to countries controller here. Let's add a property. So country model. Let's say country. So add the namespace. Now. Uh, we have to update this uh, line here. So here, this dot country dot name, country dot capital, and then country dot population. Here. We can use bind property attribute to this property. That's it. Save and run this application again. Here, update the data. Let's say India 1. Then click this send button. See here, uh, we got the output and then we got 200 OK status code. In ASP.NET Core web application, we can use bind property attribute on simple data types like integer, string, etc. Or we can also use this attribute for complex data types like customer, employee, etc. Now, instead of this uh, post method, let's use a get method. Go back to Visual Studio, stop the execution. You have changed this HTTP verb as HTTP get. Run this application. In the postman, change the method to get. Then click the send button here. Here we got the null reference exception error. Um, see here in this capital object. Sorry, country null. So we don't have anything in this country object. Uh, by default, this bind property attribute will not work with HTTP get request. To enable the get request, we have to make some changes in this bind property attribute. Now let's see the definition of this bind property attribute. Right click, then go to definition. Here we have one property uh, supports get with type bool. If you are sending true value in this property, then the bind property will work with get request. Let's add this property here. Equal true. Now save and run this application again. Here, click the send button. Here we got the output um, from HTTP get method. This is how we can work with bind property attribute in ASP.NET Core web API application. Thanks for watching this video.